Hey, this is Mr. Glenn back at it again. Um, like I've never left, right? All right, so here we go. This is fun, okay? Now, this is when my drilling gets going because I like showing new concepts. Now, you may or may, you may or may not have an understanding of what's going on, but I'm gonna break it down for you, right? Here we go. So uh, we're factoring out the greatest common binomial factor. Now, as you can see, it, it, it looks weird. Yes, it does. But as you begin to uh, practice this and understand it, uh, I'm sorry, and understand it will come right here. So, so watch this. So what you'll see is, it's very similar to what we did a few moments ago, but I want you to see what's the same. I want you to see that B plus five B plus five is the same. And because they are the same, you can reduce B plus five and B plus five as your greatest common factor. So B plus five, reduce those out. What do you have left, right? B plus, these are one, right? Any number divided by itself is one. And then you're left with a, and then you're left with eight. There's your answer. You have just reduced, right? And so if we were to multiply those back together, we would end up with this answer here, okay? If we were to multiply these two together, okay? So here are your, your factors of these two binomials, okay? Here's a binomial, here's a binomial, okay? And so you have... B plus five times A plus eight is your answer. Pretty simple. I just made it a little longer than it had to be, right? All right, so moving over here, this is this is um, not tricking you or anything like that. You just kind of got to recall what you, you've uh, learned before, that this minus sign is saying that it's minus one. Now, what do you see that's the same, okay? They have, or what they have in common is Y plus three. So you, you divide the Y plus three out. The Y plus three, oh, can't forget, got to leave it in parentheses because it's a binomial. It's not an expression. Y plus three, that reduces out. Y plus three reduces out. What are we left with? We're left with X minus one. And there's your answer. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully that was good for you. It, it helped you out a little bit. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, let me know by putting them in the comments. And also, you can email me as well uh, if you need some uh, additional tutoring or additional explanations on some things. Uh, I'm always here to help. All right. So uh, it's Mr. Glenn again, and uh, hopefully you'll come back. And I appreciate the time that you've given me thus far. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Yes.